What's up guys, David here and welcome to the FitPro Daily. This week has all been about creating content or emails or social media posts to generate engagement, leads and most of all sales. On Monday we started off with Alex coming on to share her experience, how she's doing this within her own fitness business and what she's doing for FitPro clients. On Tuesday, we then looked at five things that you need to do in order when it comes to social media. Yesterday, we looked at what was working for DK9 Fitness right now, and that was email. Today, though, I've got a foundational tip coming your way. But before I do share this tip with you, if you haven't joined us inside our free Facebook group, then head over to Facebook, search for FitPro Legion with Dave, request to join and get access to even more hints, tips, guides, downloads, insights, guest interviews, and so much more more. Anyway, let's dive into this week's foundational tip. Okay, so I could have been saying we need to post regularly, like we mentioned on Tuesday. But one thing I really want you to consider, and Alex mentioned this on Monday, was make sure that you're writing content specific for your target audience, whether that be the actual post, the questions, the polls, or anything else we've talked about this week. Make sure it's related to them. Because if you work with busy over 30s, for example, Don't start writing uh, how to get that six-pack bikini for your IB for holiday because that isn't going to match your target audience. If you're a CrossFit setup, then don't start looking into like smoothie recipes for busy mums who need to lose five or six stone, okay? Because then that doesn't match your target audience. So make sure when you're writing your content, it matches your audience. This goes hand in hand with the images or videos that you use. Whether you're doing an engagement post, a uh, success stories post, a poll, a question, whatever the type of post or email that you're sending out, make sure it matches your target audience. The image and video also align with that post and it most of all sparks the engagement that you want. So I'm going to leave it there. Nice, easy, simple foundational tip. Make sure your content matches your target audience. But before I do go, if you haven't already subscribed to the YouTube channel just yet, press pause, press subscribe, and I'll speak to you all tomorrow for this week's overview.